Hello everyone, this is Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Welcome back. For new subscribers, this is my birthday month and I am doing some hauls throughout the month. I want to go ahead and share with you I got some coloring books and I got some art supplies. And I'm going to start out with the books. So this is not a coloring book, but this goes along with this coloring with your octopus that I had gotten on a previous haul and as I was flipping through and looking at the pages I, I saw on Amazon that there are actually illustrated books from this author and and here you have colored pictures so I thought this would give me a great idea about some color choices and how they're illustrated by the way the name is traveling with your octopus and there's a couple of more I believe but it gives you some good opportunity to see how the illustrator has colored these and I think that will be helpful to me in my coloring book so that is the first book that I have and I plan on coloring in this in the next couple of days. Next is by Gabby Wolf, Wonder World Coloring Book. This is volume one. And we have some cute little houses. Oh, isn't that cute? The little bird house. That one's adorable. Sweet. The little bumblebees. That one's very interesting as well. Ooh, love that. Look, all the shelves and all of the fun things on the shelves and the little kitty. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. Oh, I especially love this. I love doing homes, tree houses, and this was right up my alley. Again, that's Wonder Worlds by Gabby Wolf. Next one is Mythographic Voyage. There's two that I was looking forward to and that's this one and Aviary which is supposed to come I think tomorrow. And I know there's a lot of flip throughs on this book but I'll just go ahead and show you some of the pages. I love to do fish. These definitely take a lot of time that one is cool. I'll enjoy doing that one. They take a lot of time. Uh, I would never be able to do this in one sitting. But there's beautiful artwork. And I'm more inclined to work in this book. And I believe based on a flip through or two that I've seen on Aviary. That I will enjoy that too because I love birds. I love how she's in there with, yeah, that's an origami bird. So cool. But yeah, that's Mythographic Voyage by Joseph Kattenbang. And then R.J. Hampson's A Frog's Tale. I like this border action here. And the frogs are so cute. Look at him smoking his pipe. Lots of fun. Oh, that looks like a fun page to do. Playing instruments. And then it looks like we have, do we have two copies? Yes. So we have two copies in this book. That's a frog's tail, a Mr. Fogarty coloring book by R.J. Hampson. Next one is Steampunk Fairies and Baby Dragons, adult coloring book. It says copyrighted 2023 by Color Castle. 
There's a lot of really cute images in this one. The uh, dark ink, uh, I can work with it. It does have some thick black lines. So cute. That one is fun. <laughs> That's super cute too. I do love steampunk and I enjoy dragons, so this is definitely up my alley. You have your color testing pages. That's steampunk fairies and baby dragons. Next one is Magical Maidens. It's the portrait coloring book of fairies, princesses, mermaids, and more by Jennifer Zimmerman and we have some grayscale on these pages these would be great with markers and colored pencils over them very cool portraits I can't wait to color in this book for sure look at that love that I think I might do a different kind of skin tone since she's scaly. Look at that. So I definitely look forward to coloring in this book. It's Magical Maidens by Jennifer Zimmerman. And then The Art of Coloring, Disney 100 Years of Wonder, 100 Images to Inspire Creativity. I am a Disney fan. I lived in Florida for a lot of years and frequented Disney World quite often and so I thought this would be a great book to have, bring back some fond memories. They are double sided so I think colored pencils will be what I use in this. Steamboat Willie. I remember watching that as a kid. Where do the stories come from? There's Donald Duck. And it gives you the little illustrative portions. The Illusion of Life. Just a really cute and unique book to have in your collection. Which is why I got it. Like I said, we are a Disney family. We've got some landscape pages. Oh, look at the map. That's really cool. So yeah, that is Art of Coloring, Disney 100 Years of Wonder. And then I saw this book, Secret World, A Magical Color and Search Journey by Stephanie Law. And I love the front cover. It's beautiful. Let's try to manage that spine a little bit. You have fine line art in these, which I do like. They are quite busy pages, which I do like sometimes, quite often actually, <laughs> which is why I have whips lately that I normally didn't have before. You have nice paper. It is smoother. So you could probably get some alcohol markers on here and do some colored pencils over. But yeah, really cute images and let me see what this one was. Nice turtle and thick paper. Very enjoyable to have a nice paper that you can do different things with. Guess there are. Can you find the following items and creatures in the book? If I find little objects that are in the way of the illustration, I will wind up using some Posca to 
cover them unless they're cute in there. All right, well, here's a card. Reminds me very much of earlier mythographic. But I like the rest of the illustrations, so I'm excited to have this book, Secret Worlds by Stephanie Law. This one was a pre-order from Creative Haven, Gnome Sweet Home. I love how this one is colored already by Teresa Goodridge. And of course you have all cute gnome themed pages. It's party time. Yeah, it's my birthday month. I should color that one first. Some pumpkins. Ooh, got some painting going on here. Very cute in the hammock, the country scene. Trimming trees. Very cute, and I love how the front cover was colored, so it caught my eye and had to order that. And then a long way from the UK, I got The Wonderful Little World Volume 3 Hobbies by Coloria. I have a hard time getting these books from the States, and of the three that have come out, I seemed to like this one best. So that is why I went ahead and it came bent. So I've been trying to press it <laughs> with heavier books, but you have great paper in these. And I just see being able to use lots of different mediums and they're such cute scenes. They're baking. Here it looks like they're playing chess. Look at the ears on this little one. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, these are my kind of images, cute and whimsical, lots of fun, doing fun things in the illustrations. We have landscape and portrait. That's very busy and intricate. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, the cat in the water. And then here we have one making a statue. I just love the ears on this little mouse, this one too. Just very cute, sweet book, and I'm very happy to have it, and I'm loving how they colored this front page. And I still need to put it under something so that I can flatten out that front page. And just so you don't think I'm just hauling this month, but I am actually coloring. <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm working in Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez. And this is the page that was chosen by Amanda Colors. It's for this book particularly, and it's this image. So I'm working on that today actually. And then Sneak peek for completed pages, because I know you all have seen that I had this as a whip for a long time in the Circle of Life by Mel Pamini Chatsapangitu. And I finally finished the octopus. And there is lots of glitter and sparkle. I don't know if the camera is conveying all of that. That's why I'm moving, move, moving, moving the page around. We have some metallics in the background, watercolors, and I used Brute Funer squares and some Ohuhu metallic markers. So yeah, but yeah, working on that. Okay, now on to some 
art supplies. And one of them is in front of me, so I'm gonna show you. This is the Ohuhu chart that I had downloaded and I wanted to get my Ohuhu markers out of the bags. So I ordered from AliExpress this container. And I've tried to arrange them the best I can based on the color chart and all the markers, Ohuhu markers that I currently have do fit in here. So I guess I'm not allowed to buy any more. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So I still need pastel set skin tones and grace. But this is a very good container. It's very solid. And you have here, I'll try. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want them to all spill out. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections on here, and then one, two, three, four, five sections on the bottom. And six markers fit in each section. So yeah, I'm super stoked to have them on my desk, and I push them as far back up to the wall. So you can't see them during my videos, but they're easy access for me when I need them. And then I don't have room for my colorless blender. <laughs> so I guess I got to get another one anyway, right? Just to house that? <laughs> no, just kidding. But if you're looking for uh, something like this, I will link it in the description. Uh, I really do think that it's a nice acrylic clear case and displays them nicely. Next thing I got was another pencil case because I had gotten some pencils from Timu and I want to be able to take them out of the box. And these are the single slotted ones and it's a smaller set because I have a smaller set of pencils from Timu. And it's nice and pink. So we have that. And then I had gotten the Prismacolor Premier watercolor pencils. And I have swatched them. Here they are. Indigo was an absolute bomb. It did not, didn't transfer well. So I'm going to see if I can maybe sharpen it again and try. But the rest did very well. And you have the 36 count. And I will tell you that some of these pencils, like that came with a permanent smudge. Let me try to show you this one. I may reach out to the company, just look at how, I don't know, they're like dirty, marked up. And there's several, like they're not all, there's a, crack down the middle of this one I definitely am going to contact them <laughs> I'm putting myself on notice since I'm doing it on video they do have very nice colors though well, let me try to get well that ind indentation may be part of it but that one you see that one's cracked and I don't know if that was shipping or what the deal was but some of the lettering is is different than others. You can see there. Anyway, I think I, it's worth contacting them because I just not happy with that. I'm I'm happy how they swatched minus indigo. But there you have it. That is something else that I had obtained. I got this Faber-Castell Deluxe Water Brush, Easy Fill Water Flow Control, Leak Proof Soft Bristles, and let's just open it up. And here you go. I have some water I can fill it with.
There we go. Let's just see. We'll test it out. Maybe it will magically make this indigo better. No, but it does work well. Yes, it's definitely, it has, it doesn't have the finest point I've ever seen, but the bristles seem to be all right. There's no wild hairs there. And I love the color. <laughs> I love the turquoises. Okay, and this might be, come in handy for the next thing I got on Etsy from Renaissance Colors. Oh, I have some sticking to the box. And she included a freebie called Berkeley. And this is the Advent Favorites. Look at those beauties. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to swatch those, but I'll save it for the end, okay? That way, we're not waiting around for me to do that in the middle, showing you what I got. Let's let those sit there, and then I don't know what these are. I think I got the liquid chrome. Yeah. So we'll try that one out too. And then this one. I've been getting over a cold. I've had two colds in March. I lost my voice, so I didn't do this video earlier. I may start to lose it. Okay, so I want to say, yeah, this is the liquid chrome. And I'm not sure about this one. I'll have to go back and look. Okay, those should be ready. And then we'll try this little Berkeley, but I'll wet it when we're ready. So that's from Renaissance Colors. And I will include the link for her shop in the description. She sent me a little card. Thank you so much for ordering again, Renee. So there you go. All right. Next thing that I got was the Jelly Roll Stardust Clear Glittering Ink, Smooth Ink Flow. I do have one of these, but they run out when you use them. And so, we have six of them. And you can see they're very glittery and fun always good for coloring pages and then i got a single faber castell pit artist pen it's the india ink and it's waterproof so i wanted to have this and i use it for some of my color chart swatching and anything of course that i want permanent so that is also an addition And then something that I got from Blick are these abstract Sennelier 3D liners. It's acrylic paint 
and I have several colors here. So I have turquoise, fluorescent rose, titanium white, black, flesh ochre, this one here, deep magenta, blue, and then we have burnt sienna, fluorescent green, cadmium red light hue, cadmium red orange hue, and then Rose quinacridone, a fluorescent yellow, and a bright yellow green. And also, I got the heavy body metallics. And I'm always challenged in opening these. Okay, so we have an iridescent pearl, iridescent gold, iridescent bronze, iridescent copper, and iridescent silver. So we are going to try these. So that's it on the art supplies. The only other thing that I got from Amazon was some zip ties. I'm going to zip tie three standing shelves that I have to be able to put RGB lights behind them because they don't stand perfectly even with one another. So I'm going to zip tie them in the back so that I can apply the RGB strips to have some fun coloring in my art room. And let's try out these. All right. Watercolors, here we come. And I think I'll do both the swatch card and then here. Very glittery and fun. All right. Well, look how fun that one is. Okay, let's go with this one. Nice smoky blue. one 
beautiful. All right, let's go in on this one and see if there's a difference. I think I wound up with the same color, I think. We'll have to see when it dries. And this is liquid chrome. Just going to put that right here. And I think I'll just, just in case they are different, put another swatch here. Okay. And then we have Berkeley. We can't forget Berkeley. Very pretty, very nice. And this works out like a charm. Definitely enjoying that brush. And here we are. Let's see if you can see those glitters. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll see how they dry. So in the meantime, I guess I could just use the same page. Why not? Okay, on these, what I've learned is you gotta shake and you gotta tap. And let's see. You gotta apply even pressure and it's something that you're going to have to practice. So I tried a couple of them. Oops. Sorry, that was the bronze. Let's do the pink. And I think you have to go at an angle. great for dotting little accents let's go with this fluorescent pink let me do dots Let's go with a blue. This is the aqua blue. Shake. I'll do dots on this one too. I think these are great accents to pages. And so many fun colors. Try this copper, iridescent copper. Okay, let's go with a fluorescent. Oh, this is the bright yellow green, but it looks fluorescent, doesn't it? Do some larger dots. And what other color we can do here? The turquoise. Okay. 
there is a small learning curve on the pressure you're putting on the bottle and the angle that you're putting the tube. But this is what they look like. Super, super cool. And they dry like that. See if you can see better that way. There you go. They, they have a slight flattening but not much. So these are gonna look fantastic on coloring pages and it looks like these watercolors are drying pretty quickly. So you can see those. So yeah, that is March birthday haul, less a few pre-ordered books. Enchanted Earth is coming. The Alien World, Kirby Rosanis, and a couple others that were on pre-order for a while. So when those come, I'll just pop on and do maybe flip-throughs on those. Hope you enjoyed everything. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and liking, subscribing, and commenting. I always enjoy all of your comments and suggestion of things and excitement for the things that I've purchased or colored. So I'll see you in the next video. You all take care. Bye-bye.